I could easily look at this as a problem that can't be fixed, or I could look at it as an opportunity to learn more and educate people. It's important to discuss how Islamophobic sentiment affects our society, but it's also crucial to have the conversation about what we can do to reverse it. For students like Jenna Hirji, education may be the key for change. Has the Islamophobic rhetoric affected your faith? Has it brought you closer to it or mm -hmm. has it made you shy away from it? For my undergrad, I started studying uh, physics and the sciences and I decided to change my major and switch schools and go to London uh, to pursue Islamic studies. I want to like understand the ideologies and, and the perspectives of the ways in which people interpret Islam. Mm. And I think like just saying, oh, you're wrong because you're hateful, that doesn't necessarily help when you're trying to elicit some sort of change. You're optimistic. A lot of people are really cynical about it. Like, how mm -hmm. did you get to a place where you, you see it as an opportunity to learn more about your faith? You kind of have to be very creative in the way that you approach this in order not to feel victimized or right. hurt by it. The only way we're going to break the cycle of intolerance is through education mm -hmm. and through really understanding the roots of these ideologies and why they're happening and where they're coming from. I mean, they don't just wake up one day and say, oh, you know, this seems like a good idea. Right. I think it's important uh, for people to take the experiences that they have involving Islamophobic rhetoric and really use that to springboard a positive reaction mm -hmm. to their communities. At the same time, I don't feel like people should, you know, allow themselves to feel, you know, ashamed or scared right. to be a Muslim or to speak of Islam and their beliefs. If we learn more about people that are different than us, then we can live in a more inclusive America where people feel understood and safe. People today who aren't Muslim, who are Sikh, who are Hindu, who just look like they could be Muslim are the ones getting hurt because people were so afraid of Muslims.